Welcome back, everybody. Today, we'll be setting up sudo authentication to work with the YubiKey. There's only three steps in getting this set up. The first is to install the required packages. Second, we have to set up the U2F mappings. And last, we need to configure PAM to work with our YubiKey. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Now, before we get started, it is important to know that we will be messing with the PAM configuration files, which handles all of the authentication for your computer. So if you mess something up, you could potentially lock yourself out and not be able to use the sudo command. So before we get started, it's important to open a second terminal that already has root privileges. You can do that by running the sudo hyphen i for interactive command. Put in your password so you have a root shell, and then we'll go ahead and just let that run in the background. Next, we're going to run this command here. And you can run this on yours. You want to run it as the user that you are going to authenticate with, since it uses the, uh, the who am I command. And then the host name is the name of your computer. So you want to run it on the same computer. So we're going to run that. We're going to touch the YubiKey, and it's going to give us a very long output. And we need to make a note of this. So we're going to copy it. And then we need to copy it into the Etsy U2F underscore mappings. So we are going to sudo nano Etsy U2F underscore mappings. And this file will not exist, so you'll need to create it on your computer. And we'll copy that into there. And do not do uh, this to where you do sudo and then you pipe it into it. Because if you do, it's going to change the who am I, and it's going to show up as root. So that won't work. And the last thing we're going to do is configure PAM to authenticate with our YubiKey. So we're going to sudo bam etsy pam.d sudo. And then right here at the top, we are going to use this command here. So I can paste it in. And what you need to do is change the host name to the host name of your computer. So it's going to be WS01 for me and WS01. And then you're going to save it. So the way this is set up now is you can authenticate either with the YubiKey or with your password. So if you have your YubiKey inserted, you can press it. PAM will find that sufficient, and it will authenticate. If your YubiKey is not inserted, then it will fall back to your password. If you want to make both the YubiKey and the password required, you would change the sufficient to required. Great. Now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and give it a try. We'll open a new window and make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. So we'll sudo apt update. Please touch the device, touch the YubiKey, and it authenticated. So we'll go ahead and close that out. I'll open a new window, make it a little bit bigger for us. Now this time I'm going to unplug the YubiKey, and I'm going to run the same command, so sudo apt update, and it's going to ask for the password, and it updates. Now, the way this is set up, it's only going to ask you to authenticate pseudo privileges with your YubiKey once every 15 minutes, which is the default. If you wanted it to authenticate with your YubiKey every single time you run sudo, you'll need to edit your uh, Etsy sudoers file. So we're going to run sudo and then vsudo. And then we're going to come down here to defaults to where it says env reset, we're going to put in comma, and then timestamp underscore timeout equals zero. This means it's not going to cache the password or the authentication, and it's going to ask you to re-authenticate every single time you run sudo. So we're going to save that. And then we'll run sudo apt update. It's going to ask us to touch our device. And then we'll run it one more time and it's going to ask us to touch our device again. And that's how easy it is to set up pseudo authentication with YubiKey. Remember, if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.